A dramatic about face vote by city council significantly impacting transit services in Detroit. It's all over a contract with a company to facilitate thousands of rides a week to Detroit residents with disabilities. That resolution is approved, so that fails. That item does fail. Okay. Yes. Rejection of a paratransit contract in Detroit. The contract would have extended service provided by French-based company Transdev by five years to the tune of $49 million. I do not feel comfortable moving forward with this and now understanding that we are um, being given ultimately this ultimatum. Um, it is difficult to not support this in order to ensure that we do have services for our residents. But to be completely honest, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried. Concerns by the council were brought up early after community complaints about the quality of service for the roughly 1,000 rides a day that residents with disabilities in the city use. The folks who use the service don't want it. We should not uh, be committing to a five-year contract with a service that is, has been providing bad, poor services for the last six years. This is extremely disappointing. And this is the do-or-die situation. And the problem with this is that we're playing with people's lives here and we're playing with people's lives who are the most vulnerable. Despite objections, the early approval vote, five to three. Then after a recess, Councilwoman Gabriela Santiago Romero. Would like, um, and apologies for doing this after a very long day, but I would like to ask to reconsider my vote for 16.2. Santiago Romero changing her vote, tanking the contract extension and providing this explanation. And just want to let my colleagues know I really had to vote my conscience on this one. The vote, a disappointment for the Duggan administration. Put these safeguards in place so that DDOT can be held accountable to improve service. So service will be better or would have been better. But now we don't have this contract in place. So we're hurting our community, community our disabled community in the coldest months of the year. And it is really disheartening. So without that contract, DDOT can now only accommodate 30% of daily riders, about 300 a day instead of 1,000. Meanwhile, the city goes back to the request for contract proposal stage. The one that led to this was a six-month process, so rebidding could take more than a quarter of a year minimum, then even more time after that to go through legal review before city council could decide on any new contract.